Hello and welcome to this short tutorial on how to share your assets with other users on Rizuna. First, let's choose the folder which we want to share. We do this by selecting the folder in the folder list on the left. The folder opens and we can see its contents. At the very top you'll find a tab marked Sharing Options. When you click on it, Rizuna will show you the sharing options for the folder. The first thing we want to do is to set the sharing permissions. In this case it's shared for everybody. This means that everybody with the link can see the folder contents, even if they're not signed into Rizuna. In Folder Properties, you can see that we have in fact chosen to show the folder to everyone, so they can access the folder without logging in. In order to see the folder, simply copy the link here and send it to the people with whom you wish to share the folder. In our case, we'll just paste it into a new browser window. And here you go. The folder is now freely available on the web. Users can add assets or files to their basket, which you can access here at the top. In this case, the user can download originals, previews and renditions simply by selecting them and clicking on Download. Let's go back and change the sharing options. Let's first select so that the folder is not shared. We say No at the top and click on the Update button. When we refresh the page, you'll notice that it's no longer available. Let's set it back to Sharing again by selecting Yes. Again, we click on Update to save the changes. And when we refresh, the folder and its contents are visible again. Now let's change the downloading option, so users can only download previews and renditions. The originals we're not going to share. Let's refresh and add to the basket. When we now look at the basket, you'll notice that we no longer have the option to download the original. If we add an asset with more renditions to the basket, you'll see that we can download the preview and all the renditions. This is a good way to prevent the user from accidentally downloading the original. Now let's go back to the folder in Rizuna. Let's set the download of originals back and go to the commenting section. In this section, we allow users to comment on the assets. Click Update and refresh the page in the other browser. What you'll notice now is that there's a new tab, List, at the top. When you click on it, you'll now see a page where you can enter comments to the assets. So let's enter a comment for the first asset. We now go back to Rizuna. We go to the contents of the folder and click on the asset on which the user just commented. At the top, you'll see the Comments tab. When we select it, we'll see the comment that we just entered on the shared page. Let's remove it and go back to the Sharing option. We disable the comments and update the folder. If we go back now to the Shared page and refresh, the List tab has now disappeared. Now let's allow users to upload assets to the Shared folder. This is practical if, for example, you need suppliers to send you images but you don't want to add them as users to Rizuna. If you look at the top of the Shares page, there's no option to upload. But if we refresh the page, you'll notice that the Add Assets button is now visible. We can click it and the usual Rizuna Upload window appears, except users will only be allowed to add from hard disk. Finally, you can enable the ordering system. This means that users can only download the basket once approved by a Rizuna user. The user is chosen in the drop-down here with all the other Rizuna users. Well, there it is, how to share assets from Rizuna in a nutshell. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial, and thank you for using Rizuna.